All right. Hello. Hi. Um, so the audio and video is going to look a little different in this video. Um, and that is because I am not using my normal device. <laughs> this is what you guys normally <laughs> see me recorded through. Um, yes, it is a phone. It's a Poco phone. It is a very very beat up pogo phone um there's a little ribbon cable here <clears throat> that goes from the charger port to the top well anyway stereo microphones so you can imagine why the audio quit working anyway i have a uh oh, what the hell what got stuff popping out anyway i have a um another ribbon cable coming tomorrow so um, I'll get back to my my better video quality <clears throat> and like I said I got I got another camera coming soon um, I haven't ordered it yet but soon soon I will have it anyway um what's today Saturday yeah happy Saturday guys uh, so you may have noticed that I have uploaded a few more videos I changed some things around I fixed all the issues that I had the upside down video and the freaking audio on one channel and all that crap it's all gone and it will be gone from now on um i set up a recorder um what do you call it like a, a work stuff i, I want to call it a digital audio workstation because i'm so used to audio um no a, vi a video app uh, editing application so so anyway, video quality should be better from here on out, um, except for this one video. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing for you guys because I got a mail call. Look at this. This is awesome. Um, by the way, okay, so I would just like to extend a huge thank you to 10 Hi-Fi for sending these to me. Like, holy crap, guys. I did not know you were going to do this. Um, they reached out to me. God, uh, months ago, like a couple, like one or two months ago, and they said, "Hey, do you want to try the the T2 DLC?" And um, I said, "Yeah, sure, sure, I'll check it out." And they're like, "Okay, we'll send it to you." And then months go by with nothing, and so I was just like, "Oh, okay, well, I, okay, I guess I'm not getting anything." And people were getting the the C2 and the the t2 dlc and um yeah i was like on my way to work and i opened up the mailbox and sitting inside were these it was a nice little box for me so um so tin hi-fi shout out to you guys um you rock like seriously awesome thank you so much for sending these to me um for anybody that will see the review videos um because i will make a video on each of these i might do both of them together it just depends on how good they are um as you know, and I will state in every video as many times as I have to, um, everything that I say is my own opinion. I have not been influenced in any way. Just because I receive a product from a manufacturer, that does not mean that I give it a good rating because I got it for free. Because in my opinion, if, if it's bad <laughs> and I tear it apart, it's just waste. It's just garbage. And it's probably more useful to me as parts than it is as a finished product. Um, if it's good and I'm hype about it, then yes, I'm going to hype it up just because that's the way I feel about it. Um, I know some of you guys are probably watching my PR1 Pro review or you probably just saw it and you're like, oh my god, this guy's like gushing about it. Yes, I know. It's got issues. I tried to make them clear. The treble is really loud. Um, and they got that plain R timbre to them, but you know what? That is my personal opinion. Um, every bit of that is true. You know, I, I said they they are the best KZ I am ever. I stand behind that opinion. In my opinion, they are the best. So, anyway, long story short, um, just because I receive something in the mail does not mean that I'm going to give it a good review. Um, like I said, all thoughts and opinions are my own and it will remain that way till the end of life. Because like I said, um, in what video was, it? I think it was also the KZ video. Um, I don't need to review things. 
I have plenty of other stuff that I can talk about, teardowns and such. And in fact, this kind of stuff, as much as I like new things, new shiny toys, um, it it takes away from the time that I have to do other projects. Um, it digs into my personal time, uh, time outside of work when I actually get time, you know, to, to work on DIY IMs and tune stuff and work on projects with other manufacturers. Um, for anybody that didn't know, I, I helped out um, with the uh, Queen of Audio um, gimlet and also the uh, Gumihu. Go, oh, I'm sorry, I butchered it. Gumiho, Gumiho, Gumiho. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but anyway, the planar BA I am. Um, I helped them with both of those, so it was kind of something I was working on behind the scenes. Not really a um, a partnership or like a um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, collaboration. It's they. We've been talking behind the scenes for a long time. Um, me and Canera um, slash queen of audio and um the new company that they started anyway we, we've been talking for a little while so they tell me about their projects and whatnot and so there's a lot of stuff that i know about that i can't tell anything about um you know not a lot of talk about it i'm under nda so but anyway um yeah so this is the t2 dlc nice box it's like their regular T2 box, but black. Um, you got some fancy QR codes on the back there. Uh, let me see how the focus works on this camera. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Uh, made in People's Republic of China. Yep, pretty cool. Not really anything on there. I'm surprised. It doesn't even. Yeah, it doesn't even say anything about the the IMs or nothing. It just has the company name. That's it. Cool little logo there, the little dream catcher. I think that's a nice addition. Um, actually, it's a diamond, but it looks like a dream catcher. I guess that makes sense because uh, DLC is diamond light carbon. And we can actually, if you guys want, I'll pull out a DLC driver and uh, show you the difference between that and carbon nanotube. And then we have the C2 Mech Warrior. This is a dope looking box. Look at that. Freaking. Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah, that looks cool. Heck yeah, dude. C2 Mech Warrior, what does it got? And we actually have some specs here. So we have 10 millimeter woofer. Oh no, <laughs> what am I in for? Um, sensitivity this is probably gonna be a base cannon. Uh, 103 dB uh, at one, let's see, 0.179 volts. I like that. I actually include the voltage. Um, the response is 10 to 20 kilohertz. Impedance 32 to, is it 5, wait, what? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Impedance 32 ohms, 15 uh, mi plus minus percent. Uh, rate of power 3 milliwatts. Max power 5 milliwatts. So it's a 5 milliwatt driver. Hmm, curious what driver that is. Uh, max distortion 3% at 0 0.01. Hmm, 3%. That's kind of... I don't know. Anyway, I won't say anything about that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. And then what do we got on the back? Typical, same same thing. All right, so um, I have not checked the pricing yet. I have no idea. Actually, let me see. So the T2 DLC is $59 so T2 DLC is $59 and the let's see the 10 hi-fi what is it C2 mech warrior is that even out yet hmm 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 okay well there's no price on that yet interesting ah okay 29 bucks cool all right so c2 is 29 bucks and the t2 dlc is 59 bucks awesome 
kind of makes sense. The packages kind of reflect that. So let's dig into them. Let's get our scalpel here and cut these boxes open. If we can make them scream. Um, so anyway, I don't know if you guys, you know, if any of you ever owned a, a tin hi-fi I am before, but these boxes, holy crap, they are like the tightest things ever. They are so hard to open without ripping the lid here. What I recommend you do is you get something flat, like a flat blade, and you put it underneath the flap there, push kind of towards yourself, and just give it a little bit of leverage until you pop it out. Same thing on this side. If you're like me, you like to keep your boxes in nice condition. I know it's a stupid thing, but I like to keep my stuff like new. I like to keep it in good quality. But, ooh. Yeah, look at that. So, so yeah, so the box is super tight. And the inside is kind of like a book. Oh, yeah, man. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at that design on there. Tin Hi-Fi. Hey, you guys got some cool, cool uh, branding going on there. I like that. That's awesome. Um, a little bit of history. So, I bought the... Oh man, I was so stupid for doing it too. Um, when I started getting into IMs, I bought the the T2 Pro under um, oh shoot, let me see what his name is. Uh, Pro review. What? No. Sorry, I just want to see. Um, more videos. Yeah, so Steve Gutenberg, the audiophiliac. Oh my God, I bought, <laughs> I bought the T two Pro off of his suggestion. Holy crap, dude! No, no, thank you. Nope. Nuh uh. Uh uh uh. That dude's deaf. I'm telling you. He's, he's old and he's deaf or something. That guy listens to music way too loud because that was a stupid mistake. Um, and then, so anyway, so I, that was my first 10 hi fi I am. And I was so sad because the build quality is amazing. Um, and anyway, so I. I got the um they were on sale so i got actually i bought two pair of the t2 and holy crap man like no one like like hype totally hype for sure i'm actually curious how they compare to um to a lot of the newer ims that have been coming out um all right so uh feelings hmm so it feels like it feels like they lightened up the shells. They don't feel as heavy as the as the old ones. Okay, well that's yeah, that's one sign. Um, yeah, the backs feel a little bit cheaper because the so so they have um, costed down the IMs a little bit. They now have this, um, which is not bad as long as the sounds there. That's the thing that matters. The the original T two is built like a shit brick house, but um, but yeah. So so instead of the cat being metal, it's this plastic inlay. It looks like so these should be much easier to open. Um, instead of the MMCX connectors, they switch to the two pin. Um, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. The um. The quality of the machine work looks really good. Super high quality as usual. So, um, Tin Hi-Fi, whoever makes their, their shells do a really good job machining. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of funny. I probably shouldn't say this, but I have the, the 3D printed file, the STL file for these. I don't know if somebody just measured them and they like mocked them up in CAD, but they're identical. It's pretty funny. But yeah, I have the the actual file for these. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you got the nozzle there. Okay. Uh, it's just a stamped stamped plate. Yeah, sorry, I cut my nail. 
But um, yeah, overall the, the fit and finish is good. Metal feels good. Um, bag, I, I don't know, I don't really care for the feel of the plastic, but yeah, everything else is good. The connectors, they look all right. The ear tips, just uh, kind of like a narrow bore, your standard, standard tip. Kind of like a KB07, but just more generic. And this is another thing about the um, the T2 series. Let's see if they changed up the tips at all. Um, so included cable. Uh, I don't know. Is that cheaper quality cable? I don't know. It doesn't look bad. It looks pretty similar. I might have a T2 cable laying around here somewhere. I'll get into all that stuff later in the uh, actual review, but yeah, not bad. It's got a knurled, um, knurled uh, housing, which is cool. You got your um, Velcro strap here, which is great. I hate it when companies don't include that because then you can't wrap up the cable. Um, the braiding looks good. It's a, uh, what, four core cable? So just a, you know, small four core cable. I actually like thin cables or thinner cables because they um, they're a little better when it comes to um, to like weight they don't like pull on the IEMs and I don't know they're just a little a little easier to manage heavy heavy cables are nice too but holy crap man some like they sometimes they want to yank the um, IEMs out of your ears and then we have our foam tips here we got uh silicone tips you have what one two three four five so you have five pairs of silicone tips plus the ones in the iams so six all together and uh two pairs of foams is that it let's see and then you got I always like this packaging tin you should uh you should stick with this packaging it's really cool i like it keep keep doing it um so anyway, yeah, so you have your, your little user's guide here. And then you have a little thank you card, a little warranty card. It's in different languages. Um, got a couple other QR codes. So you got Twitter and Facebook. You got the website. Cool, cool. And then put that back in close the case man I really like that finish that's awesome that's a really nice touch guys you guys did good whoever's the designer but yeah so they so the, the case looks like a little book now now this case isn't like practical in any way like you can't like carry it with you um I think they might have used to include a little carrying pouch I think they may have stopped that I'm not sure I'd have to check um I'll check later on but but yeah like but for like permanent storage, you know, if you like want these, you know, to sit on your bookshelf or something, you just toss in the IEMs. Like, it's not a bad little case, and it's I don't know, it's just it's cute. It, like like I said, it looks like a little book. It's like a little um, small book. I don't know, it's cool. But anyway, yeah. So your your blue foams. You got your six pairs of silicones. You have the earphones themselves, and you have your sil silver cable. I'm excited. This is awesome, man. I'm really excited to check these out. Um, I've been hearing all kinds of people talk about these, and um, I, I do I do like Tin Hi-Fi as a company. Um, I like their products. I wish I would have done a little bit of more content on the um, the P1 Max because the P1 Max I think I think kind of got outshined by the S12 and the uh, Timeless. But it's a good planar. It's a good, it's a good set. If you're looking for a um, a set of planars that's really like neutral tuned, um, really like like not V shape at all, um, and and still but still like pretty detailed, the uh, P1 uh, the P1 Max is really good. It's not V shaped at all. It's super flat. Um, still got you know a decent amount of air and stuff. The only downside that I would say is that 
um, it is so flat that it can sound a little bit boring. Um, but other than that, I mean, they, they are good earphones. They're well built. Holy crap. For resin earphones, they're super light, but they're built like a tank. Um, when I took them apart and took the drivers out, like, oh my God, they were like impossible to get the drivers out. So anyway, so, um, so this is, sorry, getting ahead of myself. So that is your T2 DLC. Like I said, it's uh, $59 right now. Been out for a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. And then this is the new C2. So I guess they announced the C2 and the C3. Let me see. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so the C3 is a PU slash LCP composite diaphragm. Um, was PU polyurethane? So it's polyurethane plus LCP composite diaphragm. Um, and then the C2. What was the C2 again? Uh, do 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 do. C2, C2. It just says it's a newly developed dynamic driver. Doesn't say what kind of dynamic driver. Let's see, so I'm on Hi-Fi Go. Oh, okay, so it's the same thing. Yeah, it's a so same so so both with the same same type of driver. Um, maybe not the same quality, but definitely the same type of driver. So. The C2 is the um, polyurethane slash or plus LCP driver. And then the um, C3 is the same thing. It's just a little bit more expensive. All right, cool. And it looks like it's uh, also available on Hi-Fi Go. And they have um, the, they got a special running right now for $10 off. So I guess the normal price is going to be $39.99. I don't know. It says save $10 and $29.99. So I'll look into that when I do the review and I'll let you guys know if there are any sales or anything going on. Um, but yeah, so same thing. You got your uh, boxed a little bit differently. So we got a square box now. Um, got the product warranty card. We got the um, little thank you card with the uh, Twitter and the Facebook logos on them. And then we have the IMs themselves. Pretty cool looking. Um, I made a joke on on one of the um, forums that it's <laughs> they're basically like a copy of the um, of the KZ, the old KZ IMs that were a copy of the uh, what is it, the Campfire Audio IMs. So you'll see they they look pretty similar. Um, but yeah, these are actually kind of cool looking. They're not the same. Don't they're not the same as the campfire. They're definitely not the same shape as the KZ, but just the just the, the overall shape kind of looks similar. And then uh, what was that other brand? God, I haven't heard about them in a while. Um, shoot, if any of you guys know what these look like, ah, uh, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember the name of the brand right now. They, they made a bunch of IEMs like a couple years ago, and then they just stopped. Something happened. They got busted for like using a, a fake driver or something, and they just stopped making IEMs. And you you don't – they I think they had like one or two releases, but they were very low-key. Nobody really talked about them. But, um, but anyway, yeah, they're like very similar shape. So if you guys uh, know who they are, please let me know in the um, in the comments. Because I am, I cannot think what the name of them are. Um, anyway, so yeah, so this time we got black tips, black ear tips. You can see there's the uh, the shape, and the shell. Got a little, like a little uh, tri wing, tri blade vent on the back. You got screws. I will tell you guys if those are real or not. Um, then we have the nozzle same thing it's, um, so punch come on punch metal nozzle it's actually nice I like the two-tone so the gray and then the silver 
silver nozzle. It's a nice, nice looking nozzle. Nice angle to it. Very nice, uh, cool angular design. Same thing. They're uh, made out of metal. And I think there's actually a little metal screen inside there. Yeah, there is. There's like a metal mesh inside here, but it's pretty deep, so you can't see it. Um, all right, so that's C2, and then, see, okay, nothing under there. We got a little box here. Let's uh, go inside our box. Actually, this side's coming loose. All right. Now, this is pretty fun, guys. I hope you're, uh, hope you're enjoying my videos. I'm trying to make the uh, quality a little better, so if you have any recommendations, any suggestions, please let me know. I'm going to work on an intro video, get um, proper thumbnails, but... All right, I'm back. Um, so yeah, so... This is gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so the Tin Hi-Fi T2 DLC. This is a diamond-like uh, coating. They're more expensive IEMs, fifty-nine dollars. And then you have their two new releases that are gonna be coming out soon, the C2 and C3. Both are um, LCP slash polyurethane PU whatever. Um, PU just means the um, the coating on the diaphragm. Um, let me show you guys. Okay. So, let's grab a... Let's see. Okay, so that looks like a DLC driver. Um... This is an LCP, same thing with PU. Actually, here's another one. Don't ask me what the difference is because I really couldn't tell you guys. Uh, this looks like a CNT. Yeah, that looks like a CNT. That looks like a DLC. Um, let me just double check and make sure. This is definitely a CNT. Uh, that actually that might be a DLC. That's definitely a DLC. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have any more? Any more? Yeah, that, that's the DLC. I think that's a DLC too. That's just a different type of quality. Uh, CNT. Let's see, do I have one more CNT? Let's see, are you CNT? Yeah, I think you're CNT. Uh, could be wrong though. So anyway, um... Okay, so CNT is your carbon carbon a little carbon nanotube um, diaphragm. Okay, so you have this is like your traditional CNT, um, and the the way you know is the um, the the color like the tint to the driver. It's got like a darker, almost like almost like a black, like a charcoal black kind of tint to it. So that's your oh, this camera sucks. Let me move this up a little bit. Sorry guys. Yeah, that, I guess that helps a little bit. So anyway, it's got like a like a charcoal black kind of haze to it. So you can see the the difference. It's basically like um like a pair of sunglasses, you know. And then you have your Pretty sure this is, yeah, this has got to be the DLC. So then you have your DLC, which is your diamond-like carbon. And these 
are they're this they're similar um except instead whoops instead of being um a dark uh like a like a black charcoal kind of color they're like a like a brownish um like a darker brown and they're a little bit more stiff a little bit more rigid so you can see how this this diaphragm here where is it at? so you can see how that one like warped to hell and back I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, so one's kind of warped to hell and back. So that, anyway, it's just not as stiff. But yeah, so that's the um, CNT. And then this is the DLC driver. And um, yeah, so basically that's that's one of the differences. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a um, DLC driver too. I think this one was out of the... Um, the Kai, the HBB Kai, but um, yeah, it's just a, uh, it's like a tan, it's like a clear tan kind of color, um, and like I said, your your CNT is like a, um, here we go, yeah, that looks like CNT, is like a darker, like a darker, almost like a black or like a charcoal kind of color, so anyway. And then your LCP, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. So this is one of my LCP drivers. Now, uh, LCP stands for um, liquid, what is it, liquid silicone polymer? No, liquid crystal polymer, that's what it is, LCP. So yeah, liquid crystal polymer. And um, it's actually really really cool driver it's really good quality it's just a shame it doesn't really sound good but um but yeah the PU the like polyurethane or whatever the PU layer is this layer right here okay it's kind of like if you want to know what it feels like it's like it's like a rubber glove kind of material um but yeah it's just a, a polyurethane and um yeah it's basically like a typical um, speaker, speaker surround. But yeah, so this is like um, I don't know what you would call this, like a milky white LCP. It's really stiff, like extreme. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this right now, and it's not deforming. This LCP, the disadvantage of it is it's too heavy and it's too slow. Um, so it just it doesn't have good speed to it but yeah there you go you see it moving in and out so that's one of the um one of the older lcp drivers and then you have this so this is also considered an lcp and this is um same thing pu lcp so it's got the same same kind of surround ring it's like um almost like a rubber glove kind of material and this one is actually pretty similar to that other material. It's just a little more um, tan. It's very, very stiff. But, um, and this is actually a decent driver, but it's just too heavy. It's too slow. Um, where is, uh, I gotta have a good, good LCP driver in here somewhere, don't I? No, I guess I don't. Damn, are you serious? I don't have a good LCP in here? No? No, I don't. So anyway, um, I don't have any good uh, LCP drivers to show you guys. The only other LCP I have is is this one right here. And this is a this is a cheap, 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 cheapest of the cheap. Um, but you can see it shares, come on, focus you fuck, it shares a lot in common, oh my god, are you serious, quit swapping out, this, I'm sorry guys, this camera is trash, but yeah, so anyway, the, um, I'll just leave it on the table there, but yeah, so the, this diaphragm here, it um, 
the material is really stiff, so it's really, really thick, thick layer of material. This is like your older LCP driver. And um, anyway, they're just a little bit slow. The newer ones are the same in color to these. Okay, so they're the exact same in color. They're like a, a yellow kind of milky color, but they are, um, they're much, much thinner, much thinner, and they deform a little more, but they're, anyway, they're faster. That's why a lot of the LCPs recently have been sounding really good, and back in the day, you never used to have a really good quality of LCP. LCP's always been that kind of thing where somebody would say, oh, I got an LCP driver, and you'd kind of be like, eh, yeah, but, um, but yeah, in the last like year or so, they've really been refining the, the technology. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry about that that long-winded ramble. I know all my videos are like uber long. Even when I say they're short, they're long.